so here we go it's friday i actually have to go to work tomorrow but i am actually here to shop for the groceries that i need to cater for dolo's second anniversary for his gym so catering is really not something that i do and the reason why i don't do it is because I don't always enjoy cooking large quantities of food, but, but when there is a special occasion, and this, my friends, is definitely a special occasion. This is for a family. Dolo is family. I have known him since the sixth grade. Both me, him, and Greg went to junior high school together, and I'm so proud of him. Um, and just to see everything that he has accomplished thus far makes me incredibly proud. So for family, I will make an exception. So what we got on the menu, we got um, fried chicken wings, honey jerk wings. We got honey jerk meatballs as well. Um, I think I'm doing some Cajun fried corn. I am also doing um, some salad and it's gonna be a movie, it's gonna be a movie. I will show you exactly how it all goes down. It's gonna be amazing. Congratulations again to Dolo, let's shop. Ooh, outside getting a little pinchy, <laughs> but it's okay. I am so glad it's not hot, because Lord knows I cannot stand cooking in hot weather, especially cooking in large quantities of food. Where is my mask? Where is my mask? And if you're wondering, why the heck is this girl in full makeup? I came straight here from my photo shoot. Yes, I had a photo shoot out in Brooklyn today um, for my upcoming cookbook and I left Brooklyn and came straight here to come and shop because I am working tomorrow Which is Saturday and I got to do all the prep marinate all the meat tonight to make life easier So here we go So I know for a fact um, I already have a lot of lime so I won't go through that because I got to wash the meat um, what I will do is get some fresh ingredients like some onions. I know I'm going to need onions for that honey jerk. So here we go. I got some. I kind of came through with a list already so that I can have some sort of order when I am in the shopping mart and the supermarket. but. Nonetheless, you know, I always say I'm coming in for one thing and I end up coming in here for something else. So let's see if I can actually stay on task. I know that I gotta get the ground beef for the meatballs and we have to also get um, the chicken wings as well. So here we go. All right. So these are the wingettes that I usually get when I'm, whenever I am making uh, the chicken wings. So we're gonna grab these. Look at me, filling up a whole shopping cart with stuff. Something told me, you know what, just make sure you go inside your bag and make sure you have your wallet. You know I didn't have my wallet? Let me go back. Look at this, I'm all over the place. I have to go back to the car just to get my wallet. Thank God I remembered it before I actually got to the supermarket cashier because that would have been a nightmare. Imagine loading up all that stuff, scanning it all and realizing you don't have your wallet. All right, so here we go. <laughs> I hope nobody stole my cart because I parked it off to the side. So I hope it's still there. Anyways, there wasn't much in there anyway, so it's all right. Now I'm out of breath. Here we go. 
So I picked up the ground beef for the meatballs and uh, I looked on my list. I am making some rice and peas. So we're going to go look for the pigeon peas. All right, so two things I'm looking for, coconut milk and pigeon peas. I need those two. I am using the canned coconut milk and I'm also using the canned pigeon peas because it totally cuts the cooking process in half or I want to see even more than that. So I got the can of pigeon peas. Next to our chicken, we got our ground beef. I'm gonna pick up another two. So, I made it out alive. Barely, but I made it out alive. So, it's 6.48. I just pulled up in the parking lot. I am about to go in and start my shift. As you can see, I am very, very tired, but the show must go on. Um, as soon as my shift is over, I am going to be going home to prep all of the chicken and all of the meatballs and all of that good stuff. So. Here we go. This is the real grind. This is the real hustle. This is what people don't see. And this is the life that I've been living for the past two or three years to make things happen. A lot of people think, a lot of people look at you and they think like, oh my God, like how does she do it? Or how does this person do it? There's a lot of grind and there's a lot of hustle behind the scenes that you guys don't see before you get the finished product. But here it is. Live and direct, 6.49 a.m. I am heading in to complete a 12-hour shift. I am back from a 12-hour shift and I am headed home right now to start prepping the food for tomorrow. I am tired, I am exhausted, and I am probably going to bed super late tonight. But you know what, the grind doesn't stop. So let's go. It's currently 10.40 p.m. Right? We got meatballs. So it's about midnight. I made the rice and peas and I made the meatballs and I am going to go to bed now. I have to get up around 5.30 to start prepping the wings and the chow mein and all that stuff. So I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early. So it's actually like seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I know I said I was gonna wake up at like 5.30. Oh my goodness. When I opened up my eyes, it was 6.30 and it took everything in me to get out of that bed this morning. But you know what, I'm here. I got my cup of coffee. It's in my Get It Girl mug and I'm ready to get the day started. It's gonna be such a beautiful day. I can't wait to see everybody. I can't wait to congratulate my friend on all of his success. It's gonna be a vibe, it's gonna be a party, it's gonna be a movie, it's gonna be everything in between. An hour and a half later, I am starting to get hot. It's starting to get hot in this kitchen. We got the corn boiling here, over here. I'm prepping the chicken, prepping more chicken. And you know, the feathers gotta get plucked. Chicken gotta be seasoned, gotta be clean. Everything's gotta be nice, clean, and on point. We got the jerk wings in the oven. That's popping. I hear the little ones running down the stairs right now. So soon somebody's gonna be asking me for breakfast and guess what? It's gonna have to be a cereal kind of morning. All right, so I got some stations set up. 
I got the air fryer, it's frying the corn. I got another air fryer over there because I got two air fryers. So this is the time that those household appliances really work in your favor. So I got two air fryers going on, frying the Cajun fried corn. We're gonna make some Cajun fried corn. Um, I'm about to start prepping these wings to make the fried chicken wings. I got a deep fryer. Um, I'll probably just do that in the deep fryer because it's just too much. Um, and I got the honey jerk wings inside the oven right here. Woo! It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to show y'all the finished product. I am almost finished. We have our jerk wings here. Take a look at these. And we are frying up some chicken wings. Almost there, almost there. Thank y'all for coming. I appreciate you. I love you. This is amazing. Those who know me for a week or know me for 28 years, you know, this is all I care about. The celebration. A lot of y'all were here to open it two years ago, so we didn't have, we didn't get an opportunity to do this last year for obvious reasons, so we wanted to make sure we really put on display this year. And I really wanted to come out and have everybody come out, have a good time, especially have something for the kids to do, because a lot of times people don't even get to come to the gym because of coverage so bring the kids let them do something in the corner y'all drink over here in this corner have fun okay but i want to say thank you food is being served i appreciate all of y'all i love y'all and i just want to give a major shout out to dj and steven dj and steven right here they hold me down 24 7 when i want to take my little trips and get my back in 27 hours the 24 man my luddies guys I was really on the fence. It was the, it was at the top of the pandemic. I was like, yo, how I'm gonna get clients, what I'm gonna do. I was training out of the park. Dolo opened up the doors. I left my job and everything has been growing ever since then. So if you want to talk about loyalty, which is one of my number one principle in life, right? I'm loyal to Dolo because loyalty, I value everything. And I appreciate Dolo for opening the doors and creating this community. And he's touching so many lives beyond the amount of people that we see here within this square. So everybody give a shout out to Dolo, man. I appreciate you, bro.